Hello guys and welcome back to another collector's discussion. Today we have the 1-6 scale The Batman uh, Robert Patterson head sculpt uh, that is teased by Queen Studios slash in art. Uh, if you guys do like this make sure you like and sub and without me rambling anymore we'll get right into it. So as you can see here this is the prototype uh, tease that in art has basically given us. Uh, I think they gave around like three or four pictures, but you know, just going by this, this looks, you know, this actually looks pretty good as the unpainted, unfinished proto. Uh, you know, and I'll zoom in a bit more as well. I would actually do that now. But yeah, it, it looks pretty good here. Like the hairs, like, I don't know if this is going to be the only edition where like the Joker we got uh, the rooted hair and sculpted hair difference uh, in different accessory packs and all that. So I don't know if they're going to do something similar with this. But if this is the only version they send out, I still think this is pretty good. And what's interesting is... Uh, yeah, there's actually no eye sockets, so maybe these have got rolly eyes. Maybe... Uh, queen up gimmick to kind of outdo or be more advanced than Hot Toys is give all their figures uh, rolly eyes. Even their unmasked head sculpts and masked head sculpts. But in my opinion, this looks pretty much 98 to 99% Robert Patterson. You know, with also like the stubble there and all that. That's kind of what Hot Toys missed, and I'll get back later. You know, I'll get on that topic later on. But yeah, these these pictures are pretty good. Like, even though these are unpainted, like, you can still see the actor's likeness here in this silhouette. Like, I don't see any flaws in this, to be honest. Like... Like I said, it would be interesting to see if they do more than one version of this, like maybe a rooted hair. Because maybe some people won't really like the look of the fringe coming and hair coming down here. But to be fair, he, he looked like this throughout the whole movie. But yeah, I can't wait to see the actual full product, even the whole suit. Uh, and compare it to the Hot Toys one, because uh, I'm I'm pretty much thinking now of buying this and the Hot Toys version, and then doing a comparison video, and then you know I'll determine out my own opinion which one I prefer, and uh, depending on how much I like, depending which version I like more, I might actually sell the other one and just get rid of it. But if they're both pretty good, then I might just keep both. But, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what happens there. And yeah, it, it's like, a, any angle this is, like, the Queen is smart doing what they're doing here, because they're not showing just one angle, they're showing multiple sides and shots of this uh, head sculpt, and... I don't see any inaccuracies here, and uh, I hope the final product, you know, the, the full final painted product is as good as this, and going by Queen's reputation, they've hit the mark pretty well most of the times, like, their one-fourth Joker that just, I think just got released and just started shipping, uh, the pose of the grenades, people were kind of skeptical about that with their promo shots weren't the best. Well, not the promo shots, it was more uh, blogger photos and, you know, people that had the product in hand and posting it online early. And, you know, people with shit phones, you know, you're gonna get a shit quality picture. But my point is Queen done their own photos and their own unboxing to it to kind of calm people down. And they pretty much you know, it pretty much came 100% flawless to the promotional pictures, and I hope 
it's one fourth scale, obviously, and I hope there's stuff like this. It's smaller scaled, and I hope we get that same love and attention with smaller product like this. And yeah, it's just what I said before. The other, like, any angle that this is getting, uh, these photos are, and this is getting shot, I don't see any in inaccuracies here at all. Like, the jawline's pretty good. Like I said, I like the stubble, and it's kind of like paws and all that. It's still pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, the hair's also really good too. Like, that's something I didn't really like about the Hot Toys version when they showed us those early. Well, it wasn't early, it was pretty much their pre-order listing photos and all that. I didn't like how smooth the hair looked with that. Uh, and like I said before, he's basically in the cow and suit the whole movie. And when you rarely see him take, a, take the cow off, he pretty much looks like this. Not, you know, perfectly silky combed like the Hot Toy version was showing. But yeah, I really, really like where this is heading. And uh, I thought I'd throw up Queen's other work on this uh, Batman. And this is their one third scale. I think this is the one that a lot of people had an issue with the base. He's standing on like uh, a little RC car, but I'm, I don't care about that. I'm not really getting this because it's too big for my collection. But the point I showed the point I'm showing this and I pulled up these pictures is I wonder if Queen is going to do this with the 1-6 scale version where the hair is rooted with uh, sheep wool I think yeah they punch in sheep wool and I, I want to know if they're going to do that with this version or maybe maybe because this isn't as big of a legendary actor compared to Heath uh, and that Joker, maybe they're gonna only do like they've they've said that they're gonna do the more exclusive figures with multiple options, and maybe in their eyes, it's not worth to have rooted hair for a Batman. And I kind of do agree, where it's like m most collectors are gonna have Batman in the cow and not unmasked. Where it might be actually a waste on their part if they were to do rooted hair. But then I, I have to say it another way, uh, another side where some collectors would probably want this. And if they're going to do what they did with the Joker where they make it limited runs, then the people that really, really want this unmasked version with rooted hair in 1.6 they can get it basically for me personally i probably wouldn't do that because i'm not gonna have mine one six unmasked like this but it would be interesting to know if queen would even consider doing this in their one six scale for this version it, it would be interesting to know but to be honest this this looks good if this is the only one they're gonna give out this looks good, and like I said before, I'm interested in the empty eye holes. Is that them hinting that we might get rolly eyes for this? Because if so, that's that's a huge advancement in unmasked head sculpts. Because you know, mostly hot toys, we get you know the Batman's have the rolly eyes, or with the BVS Ben Affleck's, we got the it's like a little fork thing clip you take out. But for an unmasked head sculpt, it will be really, really interesting to see. And you know what? I've just noticed this. As you can see here, Hot Toys have now reworked theirs. Where, I don't know if this is a bit shady of them on their half, behalf, where it's like, it looks pretty much similar to what Queen just sent out in the Proto Works. Uh, in my opinion, going by this hair, and also e even the f even if you want to say the head sculpt, the actual face, 
I personally don't see Robert Patterson in this. So I think the best... The best one is still... Queen, in my opinion. But... It's a bit sneaky of them to redo the hair. Which, at the same time, this is what we want, to be honest, as collectors. Where it's like... We want Hot Toys to be challenged to feel they need to do this and fix it and not really kind of half ass it. Uh, but yeah, this is still pretty interesting because when you look at this, for example, or maybe this is a bit of a better photo. I think the detail and the texturing here is a bit better. But that is definitely more of an update, like, that's hugely updated to what Hot Toys first had in their promo pictures, which I actually grabbed that photo, where is it? Not this one, right here. Like, I still don't see Robert Patterson in this, and by the looks of it, they haven't really changed the head sculpt, it looks like they've changed the actual hair here. See, this is... This is what I said before, the hair's a bit weird here, where it looks like he's he's just taken the cow off and he's combed his hair out, while in the movie, the closest thing I can relate to this look, especially with the hair in the movie, was the funeral scene, but even so, I think he had it more slicked back than this, but... I still don't see Robert Patterson here. While, you know, I go back to Queen. Even this one looks a bit more. And it's probably not fair to use this one. So I'll go back to here. Because that's one third. So you're going to get more detail naturally. But I can still see this as Robert Patterson. Even though it's unpainted. And it doesn't have eyes. Like I still see the likeness of Robert Patterson a bit more here. And the hair is a bit better compared to the updated version. Like, I think here's a good example. There's more texturing up here in the head sculpt on Queen's version. In comparison to Hot Toys, it looks like they've just... This part looks exactly the same, where it looks like they've just add, added a bit of strands here and here. While here is pretty much the same. Where this one looks a bit more, you know, natural. But it is interesting to see that Hot Toys have responded this quickly. Because sometimes they don't even do it. Sometimes they don't, they don't really care about what people want. Well, to an extent, of course. But this is really interesting to see... Uh, the change in, you know, the 1-6 collector world where we're getting a big company now like Hot Toys responding to uh, a well-known company like Queen who have, you know, given this out. It's, it's interesting to be a collector now. And uh, in my honest opinion, I wouldn't pre-order Hot Toys version yet just because this is out and... I would honestly wait to see this finalized and actually the whole suit as well because obviously they're not going to just release this head sculpt. It's going to be a whole suit for Cal and everything. But for me personally, I'm I'm still going to get this one just because I want to do a re review on it and then compare it with Queen's one. And, uh, you know, the best one will win, obviously, from the comparisons. But it will be interesting to see what Queen does with the actual suit as well. Because here's the thing. As much of praise we're giving Queen Studios, we still don't know how they're going to be with this type of suit material. Yeah, it's fabric. And yeah, this is, you know, obviously sculpted plastic fabric, a bit, a bit of pleather up here. But... We still haven't seen them produce a figure yet, where the Joker one, I can kind of... Joker's going to be a, a, a pretty much a nailed figure, like, because it's it's a suited 
it's in a suit, it's fabric, while this is a bit more engineering. Yes, this is fabric, but you, you get what I mean, this is a comp costume suit compared to a suit, tailored suit, where Queen haven't really shown that they can do this yet in 1.6. But saying that, Queen have shown that they've nailed detailing and Hot Toys showing this is lacking detailing, especially with the padding sections here. They should be more like matte silver, while this should be as is. This is fine. It's more here that's a bit lacking in detail. The actual abdominal padding and ribs. But this is interesting. This is very, very interesting. I like what's happening in this collecting world now. I really do. Because this opens the door for both companies now to step up their rare game. Where it's like, Hot Toys obviously feel... You know, they, they felt the need to send this, give this out a couple of hours ago, I think. They had a reason to do that. And it's most likely they feel intimidated with this being so good and it's unpainted. And it doesn't even have eyes. Like, I'm going to keep coming back to that because that's, that's a very, very interesting. They're most likely going to give us purrs or rolly eyes. Well, uh, actually, let me go back to the hot, the revisited Hot Toys one. No, see, yeah, okay, so there's no eye holes. There's no holes in the eyes, it's actually, you know, as, as is, unsculpted. So, that leads me to believe that Queen is probably doing rolly eyes with their Robert Patterson head sculpt. It's just, I don't, I don't know. Something about this seems a bit off. But it's not terrible, but it, it looks off. Something looks a bit off here. And it might be the fact that it's got some stupid watermark here, work in progress. And it's covering up whatever likeness is getting missed here, in my opinion. But just any angles, like, this looks like Robert Patterson. Like, especially this one, because someone can just Photoshop this hair to be black-brown, or I think whatever he, Robert Patterson's hair color is. And then this would just look like a silhouetted, you know, image of Robert Patterson in the dark, in the silhouette. But yeah, if we can get this scale down to like this... That would be interesting. And again, the rooted hair topic is pretty interesting as well. Maybe they will do it. Uh, like I said before, personally, I wouldn't get this in 1.6, the rooted hair. Because I'm looking at my Batman collection now. Uh, I don't have them. none of my Batman are unmasked. No, none, none of them are unmasked. So it's like... For me personally, it would be a waste for me to spend 1k for a double pack rooted head sculpt if I'm not going to display it. While something like Heath's Joker, like Heath, you know, it's unmasked. So, and it's the Joker. He obviously doesn't wear a cowl or he doesn't cover himself up aside from the face paint. So that warranted me to go up and beyond and get the definitive, you know, more exclusive version. While with this, I think it would be smart on Queen's part to just give this version and not rooted. Because it's like I said, how many people are actually going to have this unmasked? Like, and it's also a good point to, for me to say this as well. As much as I like this, and as much as it's, as it is more accurate compared to this. For me, per me personally, I'm not even going to display either of them unmasked. So it's kind of like... It's, 
kind of like a catch-22 for me, where it's like, this is fantastic, but I'm not going to use it, unfortunately, because I love the cowl so much. And like I said, I'm looking at my Batman here. None of them are unmasked. And it's for a reason, because I prefer them cowled up. But maybe I would, maybe I will also kit bash this where I'll throw it on like a suit or or maybe do the drifter look and have this on top but yeah this, this is very very interesting how Hot Toys have retaliated this quick to uh, rework this and it's like they were quick to do this but then they've kind of done nothing with Heath so I mean it makes sense because it's like they've Hot Toys already released this so it's like they want to they want buyers to buy this basically they want customers to run to this before this so of course they're going to retaliate but I am excited to see what happens in the future uh I'm I'm also excited to see the full version of Queen tease the full suit with all with whatever they you know accessory wise whatever they actually give to us. I'm excited. It's exciting for collectors now because we're getting more options and it's good where it's not just one company, you know, playing Monopoly where it's like you either take you either take it or leave it and you've got no other choice. So I, I like this. I like this competition. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, if you do enjoy this, make sure you like and sub. Uh, comment which one you prefer as well. And do you like this competition? Do you think it's going to hurt the community? Or do you think it's going to push other companies to do their best? Uh, let, me know, let me know. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.